All right, so they added a new pet to the test server. It's called a Doberman, and it is the same thing as the Moose. So not to just immediately disappoint, but I don't want to like just spread false information or anything here. It is not really that new. It does what the Moose just did in the previous patch, which is gain coconuts and plus five attack, although it also gains plus five health. So I guess it is slightly different if it is the lowest tier pet. And it is a tier four. So, uh, they actually buffed it. I'm not sure it really needed a buff, to be honest. It seemed like it was already going to be a pretty good unit, but I don't know. I didn't really experiment with it too much. But uh, since Tier 5s and Tier 6s are so good, you can definitely have a team full of them and then just like slide in the Doberman for some free coconuts. But uh, it's interesting that they decided to solve this problem just by like throwing a new pet out there. I mean, we haven't had just a random new pet since the boar. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but the boar was just randomly kind of added as a new pet. And it was super disappointing because it was terrible. Like, the boar was... It was... I think it was just plus two, plus two before attack. So it was really bad. Um, and it's still not even that great to this day. But, um... At least, it's somewhat, like, it's not the worst pet in the game, but it could use a buff. I don't know. It might be pretty tricky. It might be kind of OP if it uses a buff, or if it gets a buff. Anyway, as for the actual run, I mean, this was just, like, to be honest, what I did here is instead of actually making a custom pack, I just clicked randomize, and then I added, like, certain pets that I thought were important in there. Like Doberman, I wanted to use the new Moose, because Moose also got changed. Instead of the Doberman's ability, it now is kind of back to what it was, but it's slightly nerfed because it is to a random pet now instead of, uh, you know, being able to choose. So slight nerf there, but it's still such good stats that, I mean, it's going to be very good. And also it unfreezes as a shop, which is actually a change that I like. I think having the shop frozen just the entire time is a little lame. So forcing you to unfreeze the shop after every turn, I actually like that change a lot. Um, we'll see if the, I still think Moose is going to be really good though. Um, as a tier five, getting like plus six, plus six is just way too many stats. Um, so yeah, I've been going with strawberry pets a lot at the start. Really like taking dove whenever possible. Um, I don't know if like just the one extra health has really made that big of a difference, but I find myself just taking dove pill whenever possible. It's just so many stats. It seems like it's worth, uh, trying to go double strawberry. And plus, if you happen to get like a puffin, I guess it's uh, kind of good. Got double early squirrel though. Love to see that. Squirrel's one of the best scalers on tier 4. Besides maybe like dragonfly, which it can give a lot of stats. Like squirrel is just really good. Sets up so well for seal. Can also just go with cats. I mean, yeah. It can also just increase your odds of seeing chocolates. Which actually, <laughs> I forgot when I checked this pack, because I did this on stream. I forgot that there was no chocolate in it, and then there's still no chocolate in it. Even in this pack right now, there's no chocolate. But it doesn't matter, because I kind of got what I wanted anyway. The Doberman on level up, instead of plus 5, plus 5, is plus 10, plus 10, and then plus 15, plus 15. So there it is. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually seen a Doberman. What... Uh, I mean, it's a species of dog, apparently. I, I don't know species of dog, because I've never had a dog, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I didn't think that they would keep updating the test server, though. It's good to see. They waited, like, a few days in between, so, uh, just taking some cans, because, again, I'm gonna pivot everything on the board. Even though I have this pretty strong otter, want to make sure I actually get the ability, and then I got shark and turtle. Love to see that little combo. Because, of course, I'm going to pill this turtle, and it's going to give some free stats for the shark. So that's looking pretty good. Plus, it's a tier 5, so it should work with the Doberman. Um, it'll be interesting to see if this changes the meta at all. This actually really does discourage keeping tier 1s, um, which is pretty interesting. I know the devs said they do like the idea of pivoting. They want to keep that as like a thing in the game. You want to pivot off of stuff, of course. I mean, it makes sense. You don't want to just keep like the tier 1s throughout the entire game. I mean, they've really showed that with like the nerf to Penguin because it used to be you could, if you had like just a bunch of tier ones that were level two, you could just get a Penguin on your team and then kind of just win because that was good enough scaling. You could get it so early and it was uh, just so many stats. Yeah, it was like plus four, plus four every single turn. So uh, they nerfed Penguin twice, nerfed it into the ground. So now you can't really do that. And with the addition of Doberman, having a really good ability 
it means that I think we'll be seeing a lot less tier ones, but like you could just not go Doberman as well. It is coconut, but uh, sometimes coconut does like the same thing as pepper or melon. Um, and it can just as easily get like splash attacked and then it's just gone. Also, you might have saw there, if the swordfish has higher attack, it could just kill the Doberman before it actually gets coconut. So that is another concern. If you want to, I guess you could like pepper the Doberman. Um, although that could lose to like tiger swordfish. Actually, no, wait, does tiger swordfish target the same thing? It might target like the something else. But yeah, so, um... I didn't really think about it. I actually should have frozen the carrot when I had the squirrel to get the discount, but I then realized, okay, well, if it's going to get replaced with coconut, I could just give it a carrot, and it's a free 1-1 one, one a turn. Not that carrot's, like, all that amazing, but, uh, sure. I'll get, like, at least quite a few stats out of this. Probably going to go three more turns, so I got, like, 4-4 four, four out of it. That's, uh, that's better than a chicken leg, so not too bad. So here's the turn I decide to pivot. Got to sell everything and take double moose. But this is such good scaling. I have moose and I have the seal. So if I freeze the entire shop, I can still just buy food. But of course, the problem with the unfreezing is that you can't freeze anything in the shop. I mean, obviously, I just mentioned that. But like if you have chocolate frozen, then you're not going to be able to freeze that chocolate for next turn, which kind of sucks. So there is a slight uh, annoyance with that. But I think it's a fair nerf to moose. Um... Yeah, I kind of like it. And now we get to see the Doberman in action. So you can see the randomness of this moose. This also means you don't have to put the moose in front anymore, I guess, which is kind of nice. And there's the coconuts, one against another coconuts. Coconut, I mean, I, like I said, it oftentimes doesn't really do too much, but it's cool, I guess. Uh, it has the most satisfying sound effect in the game for sure. Level two shark, nice. Get a tier six. And yeah, freeze a hot dog, gotta buy that. Uh, since you have coconut, all you care about is attack, really. Since health does not matter too much, uh, all you want is as high attack as possible. So uh, like hot dogs and tacos will go great with Doberman. And uh, run into the sniper team again. And it actually kills the Doberman. You can see the woodpecker popped the coconut and then it got sniped by like dolphin or something. That was very strange. Uh, peppers, sure. Just, uh, I probably should have actually looked through the pack and only added attack-specific stuff. Um, and, okay, unfortunate that I rolled a tier 1. You can see here, I made the mistake of freezing the hot dog, and I'm like, wait a second. It's going to unfreeze, and uh, that's not good. But, plus 5, plus 5 is definitely worth it. If you have, like, a tier 1, 3 gold left, instead of buying the food, which is technically, like, 8 stats, but you get 10 stats from the moose like 20 stats since it's double moose definitely worth it to just roll instead of buying the food there do manage to lose to that team level 2 t-rex with coconut pretty strong there uh yeah i mean certainly you can't also go like double uh doberman of course i wanted to do that but you can only have one uh because otherwise it'll cancel out the ability so gotta pay attention to that looking like a pretty good team no random tangents this time just sticking to the game <laughs> Well, I could mention, I have been watching some TV shows. Like, I've been watching Welcome to Wrexham. Oh, wait, I already mentioned that, didn't I? I also have been watching the new episodes of Rick and Morty. I mean, I know, like, the internet just memes on Rick and Morty, or has so many memes about it, but it's not that bad of a show. I mean, it's fairly interesting. I don't mind it. It can certainly be confusing at times, but I don't know. It's all right. If you like, like, sci-fi animated stuff, it is worth a watch, probably. And it's almost at 50-50. You love to see it. Actually, it does get fit to 50-50 because the plus 5... Well, it gets to 50-45, which is pretty strong, I would say. And the run against this Octo team, but ends up being a win. And there we go. Yeah, I mean, this is on the test server, of course. You can see from the backgrounds. The backgrounds look really nice, though. I like it. And hopefully this uh, comes to the main game. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.